Hey kids, it's Mr. Mike with Vortex Kids. Boy, have I missed you. How you doing? Are you doing great? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Normally on Sundays, we worship and dance together and then break into our large groups where we learn more about Jesus. And then we break down into our smaller groups where we learn more about each other, spend more time with each other personally, and then go over the big lessons. But parents, today we wanna to give you the opportunity to do this with your kids. I encourage you to put away the distractions. That's iPads, Legos, emails, Snapchat, and Call of Duty, including you, Dad. I cannot wait to see you soon. But until then, I have three things I need you to do. Number one, be good to your parents. They care a lot about you. And number two, take care of each other. You never know when you might need a hand. And number three, be sure to say your prayers. Let God know how much you love him because he sure does love you. Hey everybody, I'm Kirk. This is Connect. Welcome, I'm super excited that you're here. I have a question for you. What do you think would be a good name for a band? Just shout out the first thing you think of. Uh, ladders to heaven. Well, we're gonna be talking about worship today. And first we have to do our point. I'm gonna say it. I need you to repeat after me. Are you ready? Here we go. I'll worship God with all my heart. Fantastic job. Well, at Connect HQ today, some of the crew worships very, very quietly, and some worship very, very loudly. And we are going to worship right now. So let's go to Connect HQ to learn more about that. Hmm, does anybody know an awesome way to connect to God? Shout it out, let me hear it. Ooh, those are some good guesses. I like that one, but let me tell you about the one I was thinking of. How about we sing a song to God? Like when we give him our full attention and tell him how great he is. When we worship, it connects us with God because we thank him for everything he's done for us. So let's get on our feet and connect to God together.
This life is a journey A path made for me With every step I take As I run this race I'm becoming the person You call me to be A child of God Alive with me So I set my eyes on you Jesus, I'm ready
Harper. Hey, Kat, what are you doing? I'm going through my worship playlists. That was worship music? I know it doesn't sound like typical worship music, but it's some of my favorite. Hmm, cool. You know what? This reminds me of a postcard we got a couple years ago. Could I tell you about it? Sure. Did you get a haircut? I'm almost finished. I have an itch on my nose. Don't move. I really need to scratch it. If you move, it will mess up my painting. I'm gonna scratch it. Okay. There. All done. That doesn't look anything like me. Yeah, well, you moved. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Harper, and this is how we solved a problem with worship. How about a nice little postcard to occupy our nice little quiet afternoon? It's from a friend in Houston, Texas. It says, Dear Connect HQ, a couple months ago I decided to follow Jesus. That's wonderful news. Before I made that decision, I was the biggest fan of this show called Umbrella Girls. Uh, I've never seen that show. I have. It's pretty popular and funny. Can I still be a super fan of that show and a super fan of Jesus? From Abigail. Hmm. Sounds like a worship problem. Really? How so? I thought worshiping was all about singing songs. Well, it can be, but the definition of worship is a crazy amount of love and respect for something. So it's not just the songs that we sing. So when we decide to follow Jesus, we can't be a fan of anything else? No, we just can't let our love for something else be greater than our love for God. I don't worship God with part of my heart. I'll worship God with all of my heart. If it's a worship question, then we should ask the Beat Doctors group. That's a great idea. But all the rooms changed. I don't even know what floor they're on. Well, they are a music group, so I'm sure if we listen hard enough, we'll hear them. That's a good point. Toast, who wants toast? We want toast, 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 toast. toast. You'll bring the bread and we'll bring the heat. So You'll bring, bring bread and we'll, we'll bring the heat. The heat. Found him. Come on, everybody. Toast. Who wants toast? toast. toast. No, I don't sing. Oh, that's OK. Yeah. It's easy. Just repeat after me. Mm -hmm. no, 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 really. I don't sing. Okie dokie. Well, what brings you here to our new rehearsal space? We have a question about worship. Oh, Ooh. well, you've come to the right place. Mm -hmm. A one. Two. A one, one two, two, three, four. four. We sing praise to God, God the Father. The, wait, wait. We didn't even ask you our question yet. Ah. Sorry, Mr. Oh, I forgot your name. Oh, that's OK. Everyone around here goes by their last names. Mm -hmm. You can call me Stevens. And call me Carrie. Last name? Mm -hmm. Musicians love to be known by their last names. <gasps> Simon and Garfunkel. Uh, Lennon and McCartney. Stevens and Carrie. Or Carrie and Stevens. Mm -hmm. I don't need top yeah. billing. Which reminds me <gasps> of a song. Yes. A one. Two. A one, two, two three, three, four. I, I don't need to be number one. one. Guys, one. guys, I'm loving these songs, but we do have a problem we need help with. Oh, you have our undivided attention. What is true worship, and how do you do it? Oh, wow. that's easy. It comes from deep inside. When your heart is bursting with love for God, it comes out. And normally in a pretty loud way, mm -hmm. like this. Yes. One, two, one, two, two three, three, four. four. I love God. I'll sing it loud. I'll sing it loud. I'll sing, sing it loud. loud. Excuse me. I'm a little, a little bit louder, louder now. now. I said, excuse me. A little bit louder now. Woo. Excuse me. Oh. You have our undivided attention. I'm sorry to ask again, but the Quiet Time group is right next door, and it's hard to hear God's still small voice when all the songs next door are about maximum volume. Mm. Do you maybe know any songs that'll encourage people to get a little softer now? 
Oh, Ooh. a whisper song. Yes, I, I love it. it. Right. One, two, one, two, three, three four. four. It's time to be quiet. Time to whisper. It's time to whisper. Quiet down. Whisper. Whisper. Quiet down. Not only is the Quiet Time group next to the Beat Doctors, but the Flex group is next to the Foodies group. It can't be easy trying to work out while smelling delicious food wafting down the hall. Yeah, that's the last time we let Mike rearrange the group rooms. It's okay. There are other quiet spots I can find to worship in the building. Sorry, I'll snap quietly. Did you say you're trying to find a quiet place to worship? I thought worshiping was all about being loud and singing songs for Jesus. Well, that's one way to worship. But it's not always just about singing fun songs, dancing, jumping up and down. Sometimes worship is quiet prayer, spending time with God in silence. It's a ship. I'll find something else. So true godly worship comes from the heart. It can happen anywhere, not just at church. That's right. Can I see your tablet? There's a story about Jesus in the Bible that teaches about this. Maybe that can help our friend Abigail. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just gonna go. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. It was a scorching hot day. Jesus was traveling and stopped in Samaria to rest. Under the hot sun, Jesus sat by a well. He was thirsty and hoping someone could help him get a drink. Soon, a woman from Samaria came to the well to draw water. Jesus asked her for a drink. The woman was too shocked to give him water because Jesus was Jewish and Jewish people did not talk to or hang out with Samaritans. Jesus said, It's okay. If you really knew who I am, you would be asking me for water. What? You don't even have a bucket. How could you get me water? Hang down into the well by your feet and get water by the handful? Jesus could see she was confused. Everyone who drinks water from this well will be thirsty again, but I have come to share a living water that will satisfy your thirst forever. Living water? On a hot day like this, it sounds too good to be true. Okay, please give me this living water so I won't be thirsty anymore. Then Jesus said something she wasn't expecting. It's not just water you're looking for. I know that you are lonely and thirsty for friendship. She had never told anyone about her loneliness. How did this man know this? He seemed like a smart man of God, so she decided to ask him a question that had been on her mind. Sir, Samaritans worship on a mountain. Jewish people say we should worship in a temple. Which one is the right answer? Jesus answered her. That's in the past. Soon, true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, anytime, anywhere. I know that Christ the Messiah is coming soon. I'm sure he'll explain the rules to us when he gets here. Dear woman, I am the Messiah. The woman could not believe her eyes. The same man who asked her for water knew everything about her and told her she could worship anywhere was the Messiah. She was so excited to tell everyone that she had met Jesus that she'd left her water jar behind at the well. 
Because of the woman's story, the Samaritans asked Jesus to stay with them. So Jesus stayed for two more days, sharing his good news with them. The woman directly asked Jesus where people should worship God, and his response was, it doesn't matter where you worship. Just as long as it's with our whole heart, in spirit and in truth. There's a verse about that in the Bible also. What are some examples of worshiping with our whole heart? Well, some people worship with their hands up to show God that He's the one they worship only. But some people worship with their eyes closed. So, as long as it comes from the heart, it isn't fake. Yes, as long as it's genuine and not just for your attention. You can find lots of ways to worship. Thanks for your help, Sarah. I'll make sure we rearrange the group room so you're not having to deal with all the distractions. No rush. Like we learned, I can worship wherever. Maybe check out the observatory. Usually, it's pretty quiet in there. Hmm. Oh, Harper, we were just working on that quiet song, so uh, mm -hmm. tell us what you think. Yeah. A one, two, a, a one, one, two, two three, three, four. Oh, hold on. This is your quiet song? Yeah, it starts off really loud, and then it just gets softer progressively. Um, no? I can tell you're not a fan, so back to the drawing board. But how can we worship if we can't be loud? Worship could be singing or shouting or listening or praying, as long as it's with our whole hearts, just like it says in the book of John, chapter 4, verse 23. Wow, I love that verse. Is there any way we could say it with you? Sure, say it with me like this. John 4, 23. John, John 4, 23. 23. True worshipers will worship the Father. True, True worshipers, worshipers will, will worship, worship the, the Father in spirit and in truth. In, in spirit, spirit and, and in truth. truth. God is incredible. Couldn't agree more. And he loves us more than we can ever imagine. Preach it! He is the only one who deserves our worship, loud or soft, yells or whispers. Man, that reminds me of a song. Hey, do you want to help us out with this next one? Yes. I don't really sing. Ooh, then I've got just the thing for you. Oh, <laughs> yes. <this is> <laughs> yeah. First of all, we want to apologize for being so loud earlier. No apologies needed. I think we've got new room assignments that will fix the problem. Secondly, we wanted to thank you for giving us a great idea for a new song. Yeah, it's not too rockin'. <laughs> I think it'll remind us to say, I'll worship God with all my heart. One, two, one, one two, two, three, three four. four. When I yell or when I whisper, God, you are the greatest listener. Hear this song I sing for you. When I sing or when I pray, God, I worship you today. Won't you take my heart and make it new? You are incredible, you are powerful, and you love me more than I will ever know. So help me celebrate how you are so great. With my yells and whispers, I will worship you. <laughs> what did you think? I'm overcome with emotion. Can't you tell? Honestly, no. <laughs> it's a great song. Thank you for sharing. Glad you liked it. Now, here's the B-side! A one! Two! A one, one two, two, three, four! four. <laughs> Hi, my name is Harper, and I'm part of Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of John. Say it with me like this. John 4, 23. True worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. When we worship God with our whole heart, we are true worshipers. In the Bible, a woman asked Jesus where people should worship. Jesus told her, it doesn't matter where. What matters is how you worship. Like the verse says, in spirit and in truth. You can worship God anywhere you are, anytime. When you love someone or something, you find ways to show it. When you love God, you worship Him to show He is your leader who you live to obey and honor. We can sing songs or spend time with Him in silence. You can find lots of ways to show Him how incredible it is to be His friend. 
with our yells and our whispers, we can worship God. Godly worship is true and comes from inside. No matter how you choose to worship God, give it all you've got. I'll worship God with all my heart. God is incredible, powerful, and loves you more than you can ever imagine. He's the only one who deserves all of our worship. I hope that answers your question. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Isn't it amazing there's so many ways we can worship God? I know, no matter whether you're energetic and upbeat like the Beat Doctors, or calm and quiet like the Quiet Time Group, there's always a way for you to worship God. Maybe I can find some new way of worshiping that I've never tried before. I'm sure there are tons of ways I can worship God with my whole heart. That sounds like a great idea, Kat. Right after I finish listening to these worship songs. Kat has a wide taste in worship music. She has folk music, pop, jazz, and a lot of electronic music styles I've never even heard of. What does electropunk even sound like? We worship God because of how great and powerful and loving He is. If you would like to know God's love for yourself, you can make that choice today. All you have to remember are the ABCs. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. Did you make that choice? If so, be sure to talk about it with a parent or a leader you trust. That is the most important decision that you can make. If you wanna know more about that, I want you to talk to a trusted adult before we're finished today. All right, we have a verse. We're gonna say it together. Here we go. John 4, 23. True worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Great job. All right, we have a super fun activity that we're gonna do. Here's how it goes. There are lots of ways to worship God. So we're gonna play a game about that. I'm gonna say an action, and if it's a way that you worship God, I want you to yell, worship! If it's not a way to worship, then we're gonna do whatever the crazy action is, okay? Here we go, here's the first one. Lick your elbow. That's a, that's a do the action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a little, it's like, you just stick it. This seemed like a better idea when I thought of it at the beginning. Okay, moving on. Read the Bible to grow closer to God. Worship! Do two jumping jacks. Make a fish face. Pray to God. Worship! Thank God for the beautiful world he made. Worship! Bow down to God because he's our king. Worship! Smell your armpit. Woo! That's fresh. So no matter how you worship, true worship comes from your heart and praises God for who he truly is. We have some fantastic questions for you and your family to answer. Thank you so much for joining me in Connect today, and I will see you later. I'm so happy that you guys were able to join us this morning for our online kids service. While normally we would meet in church on a Sunday, and I'm so sad that we weren't able to do that today. I am grateful that you were able to connect and watch us on your TV or your laptop or your computer, whatever you were able to join us with. Normally on a Sunday, this is whenever we would get together in our small groups and we would talk about either our Bible adventure or our Connect HQ. And we don't get to do that at church today, but you get to do that right at home in your living room with your parents. Parents, there are questions at the end of this video that you can go back and review with your kids 
to talk about the lesson and what they may have possibly learned. You may be surprised to hear what they picked up out of that lesson and learn something yourself. Before I leave you guys today, I just want to take a minute to say a quick prayer for you and your families today. So if you would bow your heads and close your eyes with me. Dear Jesus, we just thank you so much for everybody that joined us today. And I ask that you just be with all of them throughout this week, through everything that they're doing with schoolwork and work and just help to remind them that you love them and you created them and you are there for them. We are so thankful for you and thankful for the way that we're still able to connect with each other during this time. Thank you, Jesus, for loving us. Amen. I miss you guys all so much and cannot wait until I get to see you again. I hope you have a wonderful week.